guys. Oh, it's quick. Yeah, it's quick. Hello, guys, and welcome to another part of Naruto 8, the Trimmer, Trimmer, Fury, and Sasuke 8, the Dark, Dark Fury. Um, before we start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I barely say that since I like to hop right in, so I probably should just put an edit of that somewhere in the video from that one. Anyways, anyways, we go into the second half of the training exam arc. The finals was where things will go up to Ganon to this point. So Naruto will still go training with Jiraiya, and Sasuke will still go off to train with, you know, <laughs> Kakashi actually making it in this time. Huh. First time I've actually asked Sasuke make it on one of these what ifs. Maybe I should do it more often. Anyways. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into the preliminaries and into our first matches. First, we have an actual match that wasn't canon. Naruto versus their one favorite project. Yep, but mine's of course, I'm um, Hitsugaya. Um, not that important though, anyways. <laughs> no, my favorite project was actually Sasuke. Anyways, Naruto versus Neji, as as this battle would go different from in canon. Naruto would crush Neji this time. I mean, absolutely crush the guy. Neji's really got nothing against this Naruto in the timeline, and it would easily beat Neji. Thank you from all the good. Talk no jitsu, and you don't even name born for me. Uh, anyways, on to the next match. Oh, if you're wondering what happened to those who get, he was still Dr. Gar. I believe I had made it. Uh. So why did I put a picture of Eno and Ken here? <laughs> so uh, I forgot I recorded a different part with a few mistakes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, um, next we have um, Gar versus everyone's favorite sound ninja again. Although my favorite sound ninja is the sound four. <laughs> that isn't one character, but who cares? As, um, yeah, we can all deduce that Gar will easily, um, kill Ken. Because <laughs> we all know Ken is either leaving this battle dead or very, 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 very brutally. Let's not say murdered. Uh, just end up worse than Rock Lee. <laughs> Speaking of everyone's favorite green wearing jumpsuit guy, although, uh, never mind. <laughs> Speaking of Rock Lee, we have next Shikamaru Unara versus uh, Rock Lee. <laughs> now, Shikamaru, of course, wouldn't, would, uh, I don't know, actually, probably wouldn't do anything in preparation for this. Uh, probably would, probably wouldn't. <laughs> but he would go into this with the, uh, he would go into this, probably would be a full you So, <laughs> so uh, Shikamaru would go into this knowing how strong Lee is without, with, with his weights on. Thinking he's that strong, it wouldn't expect Lee take his weights off for him to them. Wins at least speed when he took his weight off. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Anyways, with this new power, Lee would be able to beat Shikamaru since he has no idea how strong Lee was. Or is. He has no idea how strong Gate Lee is, but he wouldn't use it. Speaking of, next we have, of course, everyone's favorite Uchiha Faraji, although mine is Itachi. <laughs> Not that my favorite is actually Madara. Anyways, everyone's favorite Uchiha Faraji versus everyone's favorite puppeteer. <laughs> although my favorite puppeteer was someone else. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sasuke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sasuke versus Tomkuro. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we can all declare that Sasuke, Sasuke will Tomkuro's ass in this fight. Let's all be honest here. His puppets will be smashed the best easily. Takuro wasn't the strongest in part one, Naruto, I think. I thought he was able to be one of the sound form the curse mark forms. At least I'm sorry Kiba was. <laughs> one, one view equals one pair for Kiba. <laughs> or one like. Is that we got a single like? <laughs> Anyways, on to the next human. Anyways, next we have everyone's favorite, um... Oh wait, I can't make that joke anymore. At least I've already been here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> you're probably wondering where Shikamaru... Uh, yeah, he's just here because I'm um, original draft of the script on my head. Um, Shikamaru win the fight against Rock Lee. And then Byron to change the image. <laughs> Anyways, next week, this match with Shikamaru's Rock Lee. So, Rock Lee versus Sasuke rematch too. Now, this fight, Lee would come in without his weight zone, so he would be much faster. And would actually be able to catch Sasuke off guard at the beginning of the fight, so Sasuke would eventually get his guard back and would start beating Rock Lee, fighting on part of Rock Lee. Until Rock Lee would start to go 8 gates, sorry, I include an image of that. And so, Rock Lee would start to go to 8 gates and would then start to pumble Sasuke, first one to first, second, then third, as, as Sasuke would be forced to pull out a new technique. Make this one up myself as he would form the Chidori to try and get it to Rock Lee. Not made up, that's not what I'm talking about. As Sasuke would form the Chidori and use it to try and hit Rock Lee, but Rock Lee would be too fast and would um, kick Sasuke to a wall as he would come straight for a fist to Sasuke. As Sasuke would finally activate his Sharingan and then start to dodge Lee's attack, but barely. As he would do. As he would activate his Dark Dark Fruit and start to change the battlefield to what he would like. As Star start Tentacles start to rise from the ground trying to catch Rock Lee. As Rock Lee would up his power to the fourth foot. Fourth gate, yeah, he held to five or six gates. No, I think it was five. Fourth gate, and what hit Lee with a... It was either the Hidden Lotus or the Primary Lotus. I should have done more research. I should, but he'll hit him with Rock Lee with his with the Hidden Lotus and the Primary Lotus. As he would bring Sasuke down to the ground. As he would try to go for another punch, but then a dark bubble round wrap around Sasuke blocking it. As Rock Lee Fist would still be able to go through, but it wouldn't touch Sasuke. As the dark would start to wrap against Rock Lee's arm, as Sasuke would get from the bubble and would start... And the bubble would turn into a giant blast, blasting Rock Lee to the arena's walls. <laughs> And Sasuke would then go for Rock Lee, who runs a giant dark fireball at Rock Lee as he would dodge this, but Sasuke would then be above Lee as he would hit him with a black Chidori, sending him down to the ground, finishing him off. <laughs> On to our next matches. Again, original draft of the script. This was supposed to be a battle royale, but then I realized Naruto would face Gar, so um, I'm just going to keep this here. So um, the next match would be a battle royale between Naruto, Sasuke, and Gar. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, Naruto would try and go for Sasuke, as Sasuke would go for him as they would basically ignore Gar there. And Togar would force them to pay attention to him as he would launch giant sand to them both as they both would dodge out of the way. As Sasuke would throw a shuriken at Gar, but Gar would easily block it. And Naruto would launch a giant shockwave, sending Gar and Sasuke flying. As he would go for a, like, just gonna call shockwave punch to hit Gar, but his sand shield would protect. 
Perfect defense will protect him, but Naruto will easily shatter through this, hitting hard, breaking some of his sand armor off. That's how as Naruto will be quickly forced to dodge out. We have to, a fireball from Sasuke will come. <laughs> As him and Sasuke will begin to engage in a battle again. As Gara would put himself in that sand cocoon thing, sand, sand cocoon, with a giant eyeball on top. I don't know how he was able to see from sand though. As a bunch of sand smile, oh, sorry, as it was sand rain will come from the air, raining on both Naruto and Sasuke. It was attacking the Ninja Storm games, I believe. Was it? Anyways, no, it was definitely the Ninja Storm game. As the two will be forced to get away, as Sasuke will finally start to use his devil fruit, the dark dark me as he will start to pull Gara towards him and hit him with a devastating, not devastating, hard bolt to the chest, blowing him back. As Naruto was then hit him with a shockwave punch, blowing Gara to the ground, as Gara will finally start to freak out, and uh, the whole invasion would start, where Naruto will win, also the rest of the crowd will be blind again, just so for Sakura and Shikamaru. Anyways, nothing will really change, sorry for not including Pajabo, Orochimaru, and Haruzen <laughs> battling, but um, I had other stuff to do. Yeah, I know, I should focus more. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, without further ado, let's go into the other fights of, um, oh yeah, one change will probably be, um, either Orochimaru so probably wouldn't have the third and first and second Okage on. I'm sorry, Orochimaru probably wouldn't have the first and second Okage's on his side because um, in canon he used um, Zaku and Ken as sacrifices. If you were wondering where and how he got the device without Tensei, then there you go, fun fact. But then again, he could use two random sound ninjas, so there's that too. Anyways, like in canon, Sasuke would eventually encounter Tamar and Konkuro basically would be carrying Gara, although he would have no puppets in this means. Um, anyways, onto this part right now, Sakura, Sakura, <laughs> Sasuke. As Tamar, Tamar would throw a giant wing, or whatever the jitsu was called, I should have done more research. As Sasuke, as he will block this with a black wall, as a bunch of black spikes will come shooting at Tamari, but she will blow these away. As Sasuke will come straight for her and will launch a fireball, as Tamari would dodge this. But Sasuke would come from another to throw a giant shuriken at her. As she will also dodge this, as Sasuke will transform back into a regular ninja. We have his jump. But what's that Naruto as a giant shuriken? Eh, and who cares? <laughs> as Sasuke would launch a dark Chidori at Tamari, finishing her off. As he would easily be able to take care of a puppetless conqueror. Anyways, later Sasuke will apparently happen upon will get to face Gara as him and Gara will have another match against each other, which will lead him to Gara turning into his partially transformed state as Sasuke will have to face Sharingan to be able to fight on par with this state. As he would eventually force Gara into it. Into Did I say he? I mean, as he and Gara would be fighting on pretty even terms. As Naruto would come in and with the two of them, Gara would be overwhelmed. But luckily, eventually Shitaku would come out. Yeah, the full, the full form Shitaku. As he would be able to beat the two until Naruto would summon Gamma Boon to her. And, not, and Naruto would knock Shikaku down with a giant shockwave sitting him crashing to the ground as he would jump on Shikaku's head and um, not, well, I wouldn't say knock Gara, I guess knock him in or wake him up, that's, that makes more sense. And would give him the talk about Jutsu turning Gara around good. Anyways, Naruto would not be as heavily injured as in canon. So um, yeah, that's good. Anyways, the fight. Uh, uh, well, so I just started, decided to show a picture of Haruzen. <laughs> so the fight with Haruzen and Orochimaru would go as in canon, and Haruzen would still give his soul to um, save the Sable Lee Village and um, take away Orochimaru's arms. And with that, my oh, wait. And with that, my friends, I end off this video. The, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Y'all, that should probably be treating that stuff like it is since, <laughs> since it is the most important thing. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Actually, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, be up all that good stuff, and I'll um, see you in the next part.